Hi, this is going to be a general strategy guide for Highlander, for beginners. This is basically going to go over all the strategies focusing on attack-defend maps, especially Payload, which tends to be the standard for Highlander. I'm going to be using clips from Bad Water as an example. Much of what I'm going to talk about here also applies to people looking to get better in casual mode games. Lots of the same strategies will apply. However, this is going to be a serious guide for Highlander players. Small disclaimer, these are just general guidelines as opposed to specifics. Different situations sometimes call for different strategies. Now, let's jump straight into it. In Highlander, you have one of each class. Here are what they're all worrying about. First off, the Engineer. As the red team, the Engineer and his sentry are the core of your team's defense. On blue team, he's mostly going to be worrying about building teleporters so that your team can keep attacking. Next up are your combo classes. This consists of your Medic, Demo, Heavy and Pyro. They're the main force of your team and they're mostly going to be contesting the most important central ground of the map. Next up are your flank classes. This is usually the scout and the soldier. They're going to be fighting over side areas, stopping anything slipping through, and equally attempting to slip through and do damage from the side. Last but not least, you have your assassin classes. The sniper, who's going to be focusing on area denial, trying to get a decent sight line, preventing people walking up anywhere for free. So a lot of your time is going to be spent trying to get rid of the enemy sniper so that you can take that ground. Then there's the spy. He's going to be all over the place, trying to get picks, and sometimes sapping sentries. Most of a game of Highlander revolves around uber pushes, where blue team are going to be attempting to gain ground so that they can safely capture. There's no point in them trying to capture while they're being shot at, so first they need to claim the ground that red are defending. The easiest way to do this is to use an uber so that you can safely deal some damage without everyone just dying in your attack. Your main targets during an uber push are going to be the sentry and the engineer so that he can't just build another one, the medic so that they can't uber to defend, and then any frags you can get just to cut down on the enemy numbers so that you can more easily push the car further. Here's how the typical push goes. The blue medic ubers their demo and he rushes into the sentry's line of sight to shoot it, allowing him to do this without just immediately dying. Red will usually respond by Ubering their pyro to airblast the demo away. Blue will often flash in their own pyro to avoid this happening. However, often even then, the pyro can completely deny your uber, sending your demo or medic far away, leaving your team useless. To avoid this, you often want to try and get a pyro pick first. Different maps and different points, the pyro is more useful in this sense. Particularly on bad water first point, the pyro is extremely powerful in this regard. After the ubers fade, the remaining players are either going to fight or retreat. You're going to want to fight if you think you can still take ground, or defend ground if you're red. Otherwise, you need to retreat as quickly as possible so that you don't have any unnecessary deaths. Especially in the case of the medic. You don't want your medic to die if he doesn't have to because that way you get uber faster and can try again sooner. If the red NG knows that he's losing this fight and that his team aren't going to be able to hold the ground, he wants to get out with his sentry as soon as possible so he can defend the next point. This can be crucial because if you don't get your sentry out, often blue will push straight through this point and the next point before the NG can even build his sentry. So, let's apply this to pushing into the first point of bad water. Here's what you might think you should do. Rush straight out with your combo, straight towards the sentry, and try and uber and destroy it. This is a really bad idea, and here's why. Your combo classes, your most important damage dealers, push out of the gate, and immediately get killed by the sniper, the soldier, the demo, hell, they'll probably even get backstabbed. This will end up forcing your medic to use your uber straight in the gate, which is terrible because there's no way in that 8 second uber you're going to get from the gate to the enemy sentry and destroy it unless you're insanely lucky. Here's what you should do instead. First up, your medic is going to hide in spawn, keeping his uber safe. Meanwhile, you're going to have a suicide attack. Your demo and your solly are going to be attempting to use their explosives to jump at the enemies, trying to kill key targets. 
the sniper, the medic, the pyro, as we discussed earlier. Maybe even the sentry, if they're lucky. Usually, they won't do a huge amount of damage this way, but they're just trying to do any damage so that when everyone respawns, you can have a good push on the sentry at an advantage before those picks can respawn and defend. While that's going on, blue sniper is attempting to kill the red sniper. The sniper is going to be the main thing preventing anyone from getting out the door, so... If that sniper's up, you aren't going to want your medic to even leave spawn lest he get headshot, drop uber, and now it's going to be another 40 seconds before you're going to push again, likely. Meanwhile, your flank classes and your spy are just doing whatever damage they can, getting annoying trying to get some kills. After you've had a crack at that, now you're ready to push. Your medic and your combo can safely head out of spawn without getting killed. They're going to take usually the most direct route to the sentry, which in this case is up the cliff. Meanwhile, your spy is preparing to sap the sentry, and your flank classes are moving up the side routes, ready to attack from a different angle to put on as much pressure as possible and keep as many defenders occupied as they can. Now it's time for blue to uber in. There's a few options here. If their pyro's up, you may want to uber the blue pyro in first to repel them. If the pyro's not, you don't really need to bother, in which case, you want to uber straight in on demo, flashing the other members of the combo as necessary to keep them alive, but hopefully letting the demo, maybe the heavy, do as much damage to the sentry as possible. Once the sentry's down, you're just trying to kill as many people in the area as you can. While this is going on, hopefully your other classes are cleaning up, getting more kills during the uber, but not just flying in unnecessarily, because red are going to have ubered as well, most likely. So if they just throw themselves at the ubered classes, they are going to die. So you need to pick your targets carefully. If the fight's going badly for red, the NG needs to retreat as quickly as he can. Equally, the red med may want to use his uber just to get out safely so that they can defend the next point, rather than attempting to repel blue if they know they're not going to win this fight. If the med goes down, they're going to have a much harder time defending the next point due to his respawn time. That'll give blue decent uber advantage. So you can quickly see that pretty much this whole game is going to revolve around ubers because they'll allow you to take ground while being shot by the sentry and the sniper, and also the sentry itself. The sentry and the sniper are going to be the main barriers preventing Blue from just strolling up, killing the defenders. Probably equally important to what you do during an Uber is what you do immediately after. This can make or break your game plan. After a successful Uber push, Blue now need to take as much ground as they can as quickly as possible, stopping Red getting any easy defences. They're going to want to push as far up as they can. If they run into the enemy NG trying to build somewhere he probably shouldn't have attempted, they need to kill him before he gets his sentry level up. While that's going on, the flank classes and anyone spare, usually this is going to be the scout and the NG, want to be pushing the cart. The cart maxes out at times 3, so a scout and an NG is enough. Blue NG also wants to build a teleporter as soon as he can, because on most maps there's a decent travel distance from spawn to the next point. On the other hand, if the uber was not successful, blue team are basically going to reset back to what they were doing at the beginning. The medic's hiding in spawn building ubers so he doesn't get sniped. However, if you nearly got the sentry, you can afford to be more aggressive. If you got lots of kills, maybe you destroyed the sentry but the NG started to build another, you may want to risk rushing out straight away, but you do risk your medic getting killed early, so you've got to make sure it's at least safe enough to risk, i.e. there's not a sniper with an easy shot on the blue spawn door. After blue have successfully pushed up, capped a point, they're now taking a decent bit of ground off red, they're now probably getting ready to deal with the next control point, where hopefully, if red are being sensible, their NG has already got his sentry up, and their team are moving into position to defend it. Now blue kind of have two options. They can either try and rush forward, which is only going to work if they absolutely destroyed them on the previous point and they weren't able to set up properly. Or, more usually, they're going to now enter a building phase. They're going to attempt to build Uber without their medic dying. They need to be safe, not too close to red, not any sniper sight lines, and they need to be careful not to let anything slip through. This is kind of the default state in Highlander. The combo classes are holding the main ground and fighting over that. Probably both teams' combos are going to be peeking into each other's territory a bit, but the medic always staying safe further back. Meanwhile, your flank classes, Scout, Solly, etc., are going to be looking after the flank areas. 
once Blue have managed to build an Uber, they're going to want to push in in a similar way to how they did at first. And that really is the general gist of this. I'm going to go into more specifics in future videos if there's any design for it. I'm specifically thinking of looking at the Medic, as that is my main, and I have a lot to say about it. Other than that, I hope this was helpful.